This is a common sight on our campus. But what do we know about these birds? This is the black-crowned night heron, one of my favorite birds you can see in school. Adults have a black crown and a white gray body. Their eyes are red and they have short yellow legs. The males are slightly larger than the females. They live all around the world in fresh and salt water wetlands. At night or early in the morning, they can often be seen standing still at the water's edge. They are patient hunters and wait to ambush prey. They enjoy small fish, frogs, lizards, snakes, and many other things. This is a juvenile night heron. It looks a lot different to the adult one. If you can spot one waking up early in the morning, you can see how cute it is. These elegant big white birds you often see are called little egrets. They mostly eat fish, but would eat other small animals as well. They find their food in shallow water. Often they stand still and wait for fish to come near. But they also go after prey and even flap their wings to confuse the small fish. Little egrets live together in colonies and often fly in small flocks. But when they're eating, they can be very territorial. You have seen this bird for sure. I heard many people call it a duck, but this is actually a little grebe. Little grebes can usually be found at the edge of lakes and are excellent divers. You can recognize them by their rusty colored neck and yellowish spots next to its bill. They lay three to four eggs in a floating nest that is attached to water plants. Whenever you come near their nest, they will cover their eggs and dive under. This makes it hard to spot them. I guess you would not be surprised that the white wagtail almost constantly wags its tail. These small birds mostly eat insects and often live near water. Open areas are a preferable place for them so they can see their prey. Red vented bulbuls have red feathers under their tails and can often be found high in trees or on the tops of poles or buildings. From high above, you can hear them call throughout the year. They like to eat fruits, flower petals, nectar, insects and even geckos. The Scaly Breasted Munia these tiny birds can often be seen at the edge of the lake eating seeds. But initially it's hard to spot them. Here they live in small flocks, but they can live in flocks of 100 birds. The scaly breasted munia can be recognized by feathers that look like scales on their underparts. Have you seen that small blue dot grazing over the water? That's a kingfisher. If you are lucky, you can see them on a branch above the water looking for fish or preening their blue and orange feathers. They usually live at the edge of the water and 
they take their nests in the banks of lakes and rivers. The male and female kingfishers look very similar. Just the lower part of their bill is black for males and red-orange for females. There are many other interesting species of birds living in school. I wasn't able to capture all of them, but here are some more examples. Enjoy! Oh, we really had 